Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk. Back into the video today. And today, we're going to be talking about why the Houston Texans should sign Jarek McKinnon in free agency. Let's get into it. So, I know, including me and a lot of other Texans fans, had to be upset on a particular move that the Houston Texans made in day one of free agency. One of their first moves was signing running back Mike Boone of the Denver Broncos to a two-year, $3.9 million contract. And I've been praising for months that the Texans need to add in a decent backup running back in free agency. And I like Mike Boone. He's a decent player. But he's not the type of idea of a player I thought of bringing in as a backup running back. And then I thought about it a couple of days later, or a day later, and I'm thinking, you know what? D'Amico and Bobby Slowick, they come from a staff in San Francisco where they have multiple really good or decent running backs on the roster, more than two. They have at least three to – San Fran, they have at least three to four really decent running backs on the roster. And then I start thinking to myself, I think we'll probably go after another running back in free agency. And if not in free agency, the draft. Now, guy I had to look at, and I would love for the Texans – to pick up because he would explode our offense even more. You know, think about how much our offense has improved in free agency so far. You've signed Noah Brown and Robert Noah Brown and Robert Woods at the wide receiver, two guys who both had 550 receiving yards um, as Robert Woods on offense with Tennessee that 65% of the time or 70% of the time they're handing the ball off to Derrick Henry, which is pretty good for a wide receiver. He, he was the, there was the... Robert Woods was easily easily their number one wide receiver. Had the most receiving yards for the Titans last season. So there you go. Um, and then Noah Brown, who had 555 receiving yards last season for the Cowboys as their number wide receiver three. And honestly, C.D. Lamb and, and Gallup kind of felt like sometimes they were holding him back from just going off. He, he was a great wide receiver. And honestly, with him you know, having more targets in Houston, I think he should even be better in Houston. So you had those two guys. You upgrade the O-line with Shaq Mason. Um, you do a couple other things. I like what you've done with the offense. The offense has gotten better from what it was at before. But this would make it even better. Let's go over Jarek McKinnon's stats. Last season, 300 rushing yards and one rushing touchdown. I, I mean, I think he's one of the best running backs with those kind of rushing stats. Because where he gets it from is where he gets it up from the receiving. 515 receiving yards and 10 receiving touchdowns. Averaged 10 receiving yards per catch and 5 rushing yards per rush. I mean, the energy he would bring into the Texans as a backup running back would be insane. Him and Damian Pierce would be electric together because Damian Pierce is more of a running back, you know, he, he, you know, I, last year he did a little bit of catching. You know, he was okay on the catch, but he wasn't that. He was running. He was a big runner. Um, you know, most of his explosive plays for the Texans were on the run. You know, he had a couple decent pass plays, but besides that, it wasn't. He's not that. You know, he's not more of a. He, but McKinnon, he's a pass runner. Um, he's a guy who. You know, he will catch on the run. I mean, as a, as a running back, he is more, he, I mean, he's a, he's listed as a running back, but he is like an extra wide receiver on the field, really. That's really what he is. You know, he, he can run for you, but he's a, he's really like an extra wide receiver on the field. And I'm going to just throw out this connection here. And it, it's, what, it's what brought me to make this video. Not only my love for us to bring in Jarek McKinnon, but there's a, there's a D'Amico San Francisco connection here. Jarek McKinnon spent about three or four seasons with the 49ers, which overlaps D'Amico's time and Bobby Sloak's time there. So he his his well um he's not a quarterback, but the passing game coordinator, Bobby Slowick, who's now our offensive coordinator, was um a part of the San Francisco 49ers when when McKinnon was there. I know he's not a defensive player, but D'Amico Ryans, who was the 49ers defensive coordinator, was also there when he was there as the defense coordinator. Now he's our head coach. 
So two San Francisco connections. I know he likes San Francisco. He played there for a while, uh, multiple years. So in that case, could see the chance to play with a really nice rookie quarterback, get some decent money, because I think the Texans could pay him pretty well. I'm thinking like an 11. Uh, I'm thinking like, sorry, I'm thinking about 11 a year. I'm thinking about uh, a two-year $22 million deal for Jared McKinnon. If not a two-year $20 million deal, whatever he wants, I give it to him. I really do, because uh, he's that talented, and the re- and the Texans desperately need to add in a really good running back. And then from there on out, you have th- you have a running a running back roster of Damian Pierce and Jarek McKinnon, and then as the third running back, you have Mike Boone, who as a third string running back is pretty decent, because you got a nice running game between three running backs now. So it'd be great for the Texans. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy them. Your thoughts on the potential signing for the Houston Texans. That's it, and peace out. Go Texans.